All right, I have no idea what to say for this intro, so we're doing some safety gear for Budgie DK. This is your three minute Thursday. So not so Budgie DK, I still like to keep certain things on a budget. Now, most of you guys know to go to the track. Harnesses have to be within date. Um, and it's a pain in the butt because all of ours are out of date right now. So I got some Crow safety harnesses, Crow safety gear harnesses. Now, a cool thing I really like about Crow harnesses is the price is good. They have a big variety of selection in color and everything, and they're rewebable. You can send them back, get them rewebbed for $75 so you don't have to buy a whole new set of belts every three years, which makes them nice. But they come with hardware for mounting. Let's see, this looks like a pair of shoulder belts. It is. Oh, I like these. I like when these are added. Makes it easier to get the belt loose when you need to get it off. I think I went with a single five point or a five point harness, so only a single sub strap, but in a, in a touring car style when you're very vertical, that is fine. You don't need the six point. And here are our lap belts. Now, I don't know why the, oh, I can get it apart. I didn't bring my knife today. All right, there we go. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I really like cam locks. They're comfortable, they're easier to get out of, they're less bulky than the uh, duckbill style flip over ones and they're easier to get together. You don't have to like get all the belts lined up on it and then get the last one on latched. So I like, I went with cam lock style. Now one of the big things about these belts because they're gonna be my track day car and not in a street car. So I went with a two inch shoulder strap. Now the big thing about two inch shoulder straps versus the standard three inch like would be with the width of the rest of this belt is if you're going to track days regularly and you already invested in harnesses and a roll bar, don't buy a new set of wheels. Buy a Hans device that keeps your head on. This lays nicely over the Hans so it doesn't want to slide off. So when you tighten it down, it's holding onto the Hans. If you use, say, a standard three inch belt, when you start to wrench it down onto the Hans and get yourself tight, the edge wants to pull off a lot of the time. You end up rolling a lot of the belt off and it wants to slip and slide off. And that's happened to me a lot of times. Now on newer Hanses, they also add a nice little lip right here to make them stay on better. But if you're tracking regularly, not driving on the street often or ever, two inch shoulder straps, they fit so much better. Some co companies even gone to just two inch belts all the way around, makes it more comfortable on the wrist, on the waist also. If you're driving on the street, now you can think about a three inch because it's, it'll spread out the load of an impact when you crash. But on a two inch, the Hans is doing all that work for you anyways. That's one more step to getting the EK to the track is a set of belts. Glad to be safe. It's always good to be safe. Now remember, if you can have a passenger, give them the same safety equipment you have. Don't, don't give them a three point harness and a stock seat if you got a race seat and a roll bar and a harness.